Hi lovely viewers, it's me again, your one and only Mtati Mpundu. Welcome to my YouTube channel. If this is your first time on my channel, kindly subscribe to my YouTube channel by hitting the red subscribe button down below and turn the bell icon to join the notification squad. Don't forget to like, share and leave a comment. Tell me what you think about this video in the comment section below. I'll be super glad to hear from you lovely viewers. Hello, hello, greetings to you fellow countrymen and women. Thank you for coming through to my broadcast. What I have is very, very important. I have something very, very important to say. Something I need to get over, 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 and something I need to get off my chest. Because I think um, we begin to die the moment that we decide to stay silent about things that matter. The moment that we begin to stay silent about things that matter is the moment that we begin to die. If we are going to be silent about things that are affecting us, we are going to lose it and a lot of people are going to suffer in the process. What am I talking about? I'm talking about us, the leaders that you elected. A lot of people sacrificed, a lot of people went to far lengths. You went to far lengths to put in place a government that would save your interests. And there are so many people in different offices and at different levels of government. But I want to focus where I, I am because what I'm seeing, what I'm seeing in Lusaka City Council, here in the capital city, where I work for you, the people, as a councillor, what I'm seeing is not okay. It's not okay and it's it's very worrying and it's not right. And I'll give you practical examples. There are many people that come to me and say, Honorable, please help me with a job. Honorable, please help me with a space. I want to put a booth. Honorable, please uh, help me. I want to, to get a, a contract or a tender for, for the projects which are coming, the projects under, under CDF. There are so many problems. Ruth, the other time, called me. She's a journalist. She lives in Kamwala. She called about a, a garbage problem. People dumping around the, the surroundings where, where she lives. There are people that are stealing panels on the drainage. All these things that you bring to my attention, I also present them to people in these offices in, in Lusaka City Council. But I think we have the wrong people. And I should say this straight. We have too many people in the wrong in the wrong offices doing nothing they are not helping us they are not helping me as a counselor they don't respect me as a counselor so how can they do the things that you want me to do because government is big lusaka is big service deliveries issues of social i mean social welfare drainages water trading places businesses all these things must be done through a council now tell me how is this council going to help you if the senior senior people in this council do not want to do their work I've written letters upon countless letters to these people in these offices to help people. To just today, I had somebody who had who presented me with a letter. They were given a letter by this same city council. They were given a letter. This is a young man, a group of young men. They said, Don't help us, we are not employed. We were left out in the teachers' deployment. Can you help us with a space uh, where we, we need to, uh, where we can set up a, a car wash? The other guys wanted to set up a, a, a garage. And they have the papers. They were given the papers by this same very Lusaka City Council. Now, today I've been, I've, been, I've been chasing up this matter. I've been chasing up this matter for the past, I don't know, if it's three months or three weeks. All they say is no honorable, we have no vehicle. No, this letter has to be written by this office. You go to that office, they throw it to another office. And I sit and wonder and say, wait a minute. If they are able to toss me around like this as a counselor, how do they toss around ordinary people who are also seeking a service? Just today, this evening, the, the answer that I got from these officers, two of them, I caught one. One is a director and one is a top person. I won't mention the name, but very soon I'll begin to mention names. I caught one director and I said, it's been three months now, there's this order. One of them is the demolition order. Remember the story about uh, this person who built an illegal uh, war fence in Kamala South? 
the notice expired an order was given for demolition has it been done nothing people are sitting comfortably in their offices when work to be down out there is not being done so this person i was following up on the car wash issue and they answer me to say go and uh, to tell those people that want a car wash if they have papers for that space and the people who are there are not moving go them tell them to go to court really as a counselor i should go and tell people that already have paperwork to be somewhere where they can set up something they can be doing for themselves i should go them to tell them to court do you know how long court cases work or how long court cases take it takes a very long time so in short this senior officer in the council is telling me to hell with those people that want a couch that's what they're saying and these are people that were appointed in this government where are they coming from because frankly speaking they are not performing and i've told some of them to say those officers you're in you're not performing you're not helping people and you're not helping us to help people if you're not ready to work to help the zambian people resign the disrespect and the treatment that our people get in these offices i i don't know it's it's beyond it's beyond despicable they're not being helped i'm not being helped i'm being frustrated in my way because day in day out i need to, to to remind people i wake up with a list of 20 things that have not been done and i need to start reminding these people about what they should do on top of that other things are coming that's why we don't see development in this country because the people that are supposed to execute works which us your policy makers which us your elected leaders we want to make the people who are supposed to execute those are frustrating you talk about tenders who's still in charge of tenders what has changed in tenders are there any new people that are getting tenders any youth that are getting tenders nothing so if they if 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 if, if the, the the mode of uh, equal equality eh? equal distribution of opportunities where where is it where is equal distribution of opportunity if we don't have any new people any new youths that are being given tenders in usaka city council every day tenders are passing through usaka city council who they give i don't know i don't know of anybody if i mean that to me who has ever been given a tender so who's being given these tenders the tenders are there every day they are being floated they are there i know they are there but i can't always sit in the office of the procurement office and ask what tenders do you have today i can't what we want is a free and transparency mode of opportunity for or whether it comes to jobs where it comes to tenders whether it comes looking for a space for a booth whether it comes looking for a space for a car wash or whatever thing that people want to set up let us help them they only come in when they they have a an interest yesterday yesterday i had to chase some council people out of my words they came from the public health department they came door to door telling people to say this company there's a small uh, garbage collection company which collects garbage in kamwala and they have done a very very good job just when i came in they came to complain to me at my office and say don't but we have been trying to work and collect garbage we are trying to survive as well and give a service but the council has been blocking us for for, for five years they were blocked and they never had opportunity opportunities they were being just around like no man's business by the same officers there at council because they were big companies behind they call them franchise contractors these franchise contractors are the ones that have monopolized a uh, garbage collection in osaka and i want to say this all of them were affiliated and sponsored by the pf in fact they are pf they still have those contracts so how are you a young person or a new company that never had opportunity during the years of pf how are you going to get an opportunity for you also to 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 give a service and get paid for it how are you going to get that we have big problems in this country we have big in this case especially we have too many problems we have the wrong people in the right places wrong people in the wrong place i don't know but basically they are not doing what they're supposed to do and i've seen it with my own two eyes some of the things i've just put them in writing i don't come on social media to complain about everything some of them i, I write i write to write the right offices i don't know if they sit on these papers i don't know if they fire them they throw them away i don't know because no action is done half the time that you go into offices you will never find these people in offices never maybe you'll be like in a week you just find them once and these are the people that are supposed to be executing programs no things must change
people voted for change people voted for a new government so that they can have new opportunities for themselves because in the previous regime the opportunities all the opportunities whether it comes to jobs whether it comes to contracts it comes to tenders whether it comes for a small trade trading space anywhere everything was monopolized by the previous regime they only gave opportunity to their own people even in the offices you know the pf constitution was very clear it was that only the people that are related to them or people that that are within their party are going to be given opportunities is that the way we should run a country shouldn't opportunities be given to everyone regardless of political affiliation that's what we are trying to do but we are being frustrated at every turn we are being frustrated we can't we can't uh, uh, lobby for jobs for anybody because god knows who they are giving jobs jobs are there but god knows who they're giving jobs i don't know i don't know any people that have been given jobs that i know for the past one year when i've been in cancer i don't know anybody i would point to say but if people are getting jobs some of the people that they have brought into the council in senior senior positions i don't know them where are they coming from maybe i wouldn't bother so much if they were performing if they were working but these are people that look like they were just picked from the farm you bring them to say come and work in a busy busy council like Kumsaka city council where you have to be on your toes every day no in fact at this moment i can be i can be very clear without any fear of, of ridicule or whatever i can tell you to say that some people that were moved were more were harder workers than the ones that we have now 50 of the percent of the people that have come are just lazing around they're not delivering they're not delivering and i've written a letter of complaint to the mayor about this it's now one week i've never i've never published it because i respect that office and i i want her to act on it and i've pointed with copies of letters files that have never been worked on i always move with a big bag in my car full of papers and letters that i've written some of them are coming direct from you you've got complaints left right and center eh? illegal 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 shall be in communities where people are just making noise there's they, 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 from there they go and attack people they come they go they steal i've written so many that complaining asking the council to step in and do their job but nothing happens you have a whole department like city planning which is supposed to do inspections and ensure to say that uh, some of the illegal things that are going on are stopped they don't even have a vehicle a whole usaka city council city planning department big as it is the biggest and busiest of all departments in usaka city council they don't even have a single vehicle and then they are told you can't use your own personal vehicle because it is against the rules so how are they going to work are you are you are you interested in working are you interested in working how are you going to develop deliver development the only thing that you know how to do is to buy luxury vehicles for officers who are not even sitting at the council where do you have a go with those luxury vehicles to the farm that's why you are spending huge sums of money buying vehicles for individuals instead of buying vehicles for departments all those things people know about those things but nothing is done we report to our bosses every day every day we report we make phone calls we visit offices can you please help us we are being frustrated here as counselors is anybody listening we talk to the top, top people up there how who, they can't say that they don't know they know we knock on their doors we go there and tell them this one and this one and this one this is what is happening you are talking about merit and qualifications we have people without even a grade nine qualification they are holding senior senior positions for one year they've been there they've never been cleaned up how do they stay there people that were capable people that were working you have removed them where is the progress in that where is the progress in that at the end of the day elected leaders we are going to look as if uh, we are the bad ones or we are the ones who don't want to to deliver we want to deliver but an elected leader does not work alone we work through systems we work through institutions and if the people in those institutions are not working and they're not being removed why are they being kept decoration or oh, sympathy why do you why do you why do you get why why do you want to keep such people in offices when they are not working for the people because my concern my concern is that they should be working for the people if you put people in offices let them work for the people but they're not working for the people busy running around what are they getting talk about the, the garbage situation and cleanliness in the city 
I told some people, I told some people from uh, what West West Management. For five months, I've been singing a song. Can you please go in this area? These people check if they are subscribed. These I'm talking about some commercial areas. They don't subscribe. They are just busy dumping stuff indiscriminately. The communities are complaining. I've told them, can you please go and check what is happening there? I've put it in writing three times, not once, not twice, three times. I've put it in writing. Can you look into this matter? Honorable, we are going to go there. Honorable, don't worry, it will be done next week. Next week, next week, next week, next month. It's a year now. Then they send some people to come and inspect on behalf of a, of a big company. A big company, one of these big garbage collection companies, which are supposed to go, because as Osaka City Council, we've made it clear to say, we do not want these big garbage collection companies, because all they do is get money from people from homes, and they never collect their garbage. They only come once in a month, when they want to get money. So, they gave, I don't know, they got some council people to say, let's go compound and start telling people, don't subscribe to small guys. Small guys in garbage business who are doing a good job, commendable job. They want to, to check them out of the business. Whose interest are they saving? That's because they, maybe they were given lunch money and transport money that day to go and do a job for a big contractor. I told them, get out of the world. I told them, get out of the work and don't come back. And do those instructions and the jobs that I've given you to perform. You perform them. That's when you're going to come, come back. So you only choose to do the things that you want to be done. Not what elected leaders want you to do for the people. Huh? Somebody wants a, a place to put a booth. They, they help themselves. They have not been employed. They've got an initiative, a small capital. I call on big boss and say, can you help this person? At not, tell them to go to court and get a court order. Then they come back and remove those people that are disturbing them. Really? You gave them a paper. You yourself as a council, you gave them a paper to say they can work. But you can't do an enforcement on your own paper. You want Zambia police to come and do council work. Is Zambia police council. You don't have council police. What is your council police doing if they, can, if they can't work on behalf of the people that they're supposed to be assisting? So those are some of the things. And the problem is widespread. That's only the tip of the iceberg. But I'll stop there for now. Now, I'll just be coming here on social media with, to, to share these things with you. Because it can no longer be kept a secret. It is, if it is kept a secret, you people will never know who's who. Next time round, I'm going to come and give this live video. I'll now be mentioning department by department and office by office. If I go to an office and I don't find you, I'll come back here, mention your name, and show the people the letters I've written to your office and show them that you're not working, you're not acting on it. That's why even last time I said, I'm going to write a letter to the president. Because we are not getting help. There is, a, there is a way of uh, escalating issues. If at stage one doesn't work, you got two, three, four, five. I've done all that. Nobody's listening. So just write a letter to state house. Then you hear people say, but we were here, why didn't you come to us? Ah? <laughs> You've seen the letters which we write. You don't act on them. Are you protecting these people? I don't know. Anyway, that's just what I wanted to share with you. The challenges that we are facing as your leaders, we hear your cries, whatever they are, from garbage to street lights to opportunities for a booth or maybe a car wash or some, something, whatever you want to be assisted with through the council, because the council is local government. We run a lot of things, buildings and all that. We do that. But frankly, a lot of things are not being done. A lot of people are not being helped. All those historical problems you've had with council, they are still there. Because the mindset, the attitude, and the work culture that is existing in this country, in this council, Saka City Council in particular, is pathetic. And the cleanup needs to be done. Thank you very much for watching. Alright, that's all right for you today, lovely viewers. If you did enjoy the video, please don't forget to leave a comment in the comment section below. Tell me what you think about the video you just watched in the comment section below. I'll be super glad to hear from you, lovely viewers. Once again, I go by the name of Mutatim Pondum. I love you, peace. I gotta go.